What is going on guys, Nober here back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about something new that TikTok just released and it is the drumroll please interest on TikTok. Yes, detailed targeting specifically because we had interest but I don't know if you know this but they were super super general and it, you can really target for example bicycle or relationships or anything really super specific and I've said in previous videos that you know the reason that TikTok ads are mostly performing the best with like general products and it's really hard to sell niche products on TikTok ads is because there's no way to like target a specific niche of people. So like usually when you launch ads, even if you choose one of the interests that TikTok currently has, it's still gonna be seen by, you know, a broad variety of people and it's gonna be very hard to get a specific kind of person to see your advertisement. This may change and I would predict that moving forward, we may see niche products being able to work really, really well with TikTok ads. Now in this video, we're gonna be covering, you know, the types of interests that they actually added. We're going to be going over some of the pros and cons, and I'm also going to share with you what I plan on doing with this new feature to see if we can fully capitalize on it and see if there's an opportunity there to actually go in and make a ton more money. Now, I don't know if you've been watching my videos lately, but I've been dropping hints that TikTok is most definitely going to release detailed targeting options. It was just a matter of time and I've been patiently waiting for it. Um, it is an opportunity that I wanted to jump on and I predict that it will make a really big impact on TikTok ads, you know, running into the future. And it was definitely a big step that they needed to take, you know, to make the difference from being like an introductory advertising platform into being a, a platform where most businesses and companies can actually run ads on because because there's proper targeting set up, you know, similar to what Facebook ads had. So in my previous videos, I always said like, oh, TikTok's gonna release interest, they're gonna do this, they're gonna do that, and they finally did it. Now, it's not out there for absolutely every single ad account yet. I'm not sure what specific countries have access to it and which ones don't, but I have told my friends about it and some of them came back to me saying that they couldn't access it. So I'm actually gonna share my screen now and kind of show you how you can actually access it and, and see if you have the ability to uh, actually target the detailed targeting options. So you can see that we have the campaign pulled up from the uh, the full TikTok ads training that I made. Um, it was my last three videos. If you haven't checked them out, by the way, they're really, really good. I literally walk you through product research, building your store, and testing and analyzing your campaigns. So it's basically a full course, um, entirely free. It's a three-part series on my YouTube channel. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. But I'm just gonna pull this up as an example so that we can see um, the types of interests that they actually added um, and how they actually went, went about adding it was pretty interesting as well. So as you can see, you have your normal general interests here that TikTok kind of added in. And you can see that like you can target, you know, games, babies, um, pets, travel. But overall, these are like really, really general. Um, and I think the reason they did this was because when they first launched the TikTok advertising, you know, program, they wanted to keep it easy and they wanted to keep it kind of versatile to everybody um, and obviously uh, from a perspective of like if you own the advertising platform it's probably like a legal mess and also just a big pain in the ass to actually make you know detailed targeted interests um, in the same way that Facebook has over the years so I'm finally glad to see that TikTok has been in investing in the infrastructure to actually be able to do this but most people don't know about it yet which is why I wanted to make this video and the reason most people don't know about it is because from what I've seen so far there's no way to actually access the uh, the detailed targeting interests, you know, just by using the drop down menus. So you can see that you basically have these drop down menus where you have like these kind of pre chosen out interests, and you know you can't choose the detailed targeting. So what you have to do is go into interests and then search up, you know, whatever you want. Um, at first, it'll say no results, but you can see now that we actually have an interest here called bicycle. Now, if you go into the drop down menu and you go, you know, like let's say sports outdoors, you can see that bicycle is not even an option. So, this is kind of like a hidden interest. Um, they're calling it additional interest. Obviously, this is TikTok's attempt at releasing detailed targeting options that, you know, allow you to target specific audiences that are interested in very specific things. Now, I think this is really, really interesting because one of the things to note is when Facebook collects data on a person, they're pulling it from many different places. They're pulling it from, you know, what they search on Facebook, the pages they like on Facebook, which posts they interact with, who their friends are, who their good friends are, who their not so good friends are. Like they have just tens of thousands of data points, which I've talked about over the previous videos on this channel, to actually collect data and figure out what people are interested in. That's one of the things that we're completely mysterious about with TikTok right now. We don't really know 
know, you know, what data points they're pulling to actually know that somebody is interested in bicycle, right? Because, you know, maybe they like the video that had the hashtag bicycle and that's what TikTok is using as an indication. And we also don't know, you know, what TikTok is using to develop the actual interest. Like you can see that for bicycle, there's only two. There's bicycle and there's electric bicycle. What differentiates the two? How does the TikTok algorithm know if somebody's interested in just a normal bicycle or an electric bicycle? Um, we don't really know that kind of information yet, but I'm assuming that it's based on hashtags and types of profiles that they engage with, something along those lines. Maybe it's based on different advertisements that they engage with, um, but I do know that that's one of the things that is gonna hold this back is from what we've seen so far, the data points that they're touching on to collect this data is nowhere near as powerful as what we've seen with Facebook. So even though there are detailed targeting interests here now, they're not gonna be nearly as targeted. And as you can see, the audience sizes are pretty small. They're not gonna be nearly as targeted as you know the interest on Facebook ads. But like I said, this is really, really new. And I'm super excited to see kind of where they go with this and how they plan on implementing this over time. Um, you know, but most of the interests, like if you're selling a product on TikTok right now, think of every interest that you could have done for Facebook ads and try to come over into TikTok and type them into the search bar on the interest categories. Because like, for example, serious relationships, relationships, like if you're selling relationship products, this kind of stuff could do really, really good. You have other niches such as, you know, hunting, right? Like people, uh, look at this audience size. 2,000 to 4,000 people. Um, so the reason I'm bringing this up is because I think right now we're not gonna be able to take full advantage of this feature just because it's so new. And I think that TikTok is slacking a little bit on the data points, if I'm being honest. Um, but you can see that they're actually making the effort to you know, add hunting in as an option in the first place, which is really why I wanted to make this video um, so that I can kind of show you what's going on and how you can utilize it moving forward. So one of the questions that comes to my mind, is this gonna change the way that we run TikTok ads? Um, I would say right now, no, because it's such a new example. And as you can see, the audience sizes are not really big and it's not really clear you know, where the data points are coming from for them to actually collect that data. But there are some pros and cons that I would like you to know, you know, moving forward so that you're at least educated and you know what to expect. Um, and in the next slide, we're also going to cover, you know, how I plan on tackling this new opportunity and seeing if there's actually something here that, you know, maybe I'll pivot my strategy a little bit, you know, we'll see what happens. But obviously one of the biggest pros is that niche products may finally start to work. Um, niche products have been a massive pain in the ass on TikTok ads. And usually we've been selling like general products, like products that pretty much anybody could buy, um, which is fine and that's all good and dandy. But for example, if you own a brand and you're not drop shipping and you're tied to a specific niche, um, this could be really difficult. And the whole, you know, for most brands out there, they can't even really run ads on TikTok because their specific product or their specific niche doesn't really work. And I think one of the reasons that it doesn't really work is because of TikTok's lack of targeting options. So this could open the door to many big brands stepping onto the TikTok ad platform and actually seeing really good results. And obviously the same thing for us drop shippers, it would open the opportunity for us to go in and actually sell you know, bicycle accessories and fishing products and hunting products and stuff like this. And then obviously the cons, which are some of the things that we've already addressed in this video so far, that the audiences are currently pretty small and it's not very clear where TikTok is getting the audiences from. Um, but obviously I think this is just because it's a new feature. I don't really think that they've fully rolled this out yet. Like I think we're, we're still gonna expect some changes over the next few months and hopefully you know bigger audience sizes easier accessibility maybe they'll release a list of like every single interest that's available because right now all you can really do is just search them up and, and see if anything pops up I think maybe a suggestions tab like similar to what Facebook has where you can put in relationships and then click suggestions and it'll give you all the related uh, interests attached to relationships would be really really cool as well Essentially, let's be honest, as close as they can get to Facebook, the better. Um, if it was you know, the same targeting system that Facebook had, it would be absolutely perfect. And I'm sure that you know, we'd be able to take full advantage of that and make a ton more money. But we'll see, you know, it's a completely different platform. It's not ran by the same people. Um, another thing to note is that even though our strategies are completely optimized for you know, general products and selling general products, um, no targeting with TikTok ads is currently working the best. So I was super 
super duper excited about TikTok finally releasing detailed targeting interests. But now that it's actually here, we've already kind of pivoted our strategies to just not target anything at all. So it's almost like we asked for it because we had a problem, but then we solved that problem by just you know pivoting our strategies and having no targeting options at all. So in order for detailed targeting interests to be really exciting and worth it, in my opinion, then it has to outperform um, no interest targeting, which if I'm being honest with you, the results from no interest targeting with general products have just been so good. I don't really see detailed targeting outperforming it. So that's another thing to keep in mind, um, but it could be another opportunity. It could be another way to actually make money and find winning products. So here's what I'm going to do to actually try to take advantage of the uh, interest on, on TikTok. So I'm going to add a new strategy to my strategy development sheet that I work with my team over at my marketing agency that basically utilizes a mix of niche products, you know, with one product stores, basically branded niche products, and also mixes detailed targeting into that. So for example, if we tested out detailed targeting as we stand right now, I don't think we'll be seeing the full benefits of it because we'll be doing detailed targeting with like not so detailed niche products. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find actual niche products and then target the specific interests on TikTok that correlate to that specific niche. And we're probably gonna run like 10 to 15 tests and see what the performance actually is and see if there's any difference. And of course, as soon as I know and as, as soon as we've completed those 10 to 15 tests, of course I'm gonna make a video about it. So if you wanna see that video when it comes out, make sure to hit subscribe. I'm always testing new strategies and I always try to come on here and update you guys on you know the, the newest and best performing strategies that I've found. So yeah, make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this one. But yeah, I'm very interested to see what happens when we actually pivot our product research method around this. Um, because like I said, up to this point, we're testing general products. And um, if you're testing general products with specific niche targeting, um, it's not really gonna be that different. And that's one of the reasons that we've seen so much success with no targeting so far, I think is because the products that we're selling are very general. So I'm very excited to completely pivot our product research method along with our targeting method and maybe we'll switch some things up on the website as well and actually run this as a proper test you know with 10 to 15 different products different stores different ad accounts you know give it a really really good run for its money and who knows maybe it will change the way that we run TikTok ads but as for now we're just gonna test it as a side thing and I'm honestly really grateful that the strategies that we have right now are working really really good anyways but I always jump on new things and I always try to find new things that perform well so super excited moving forward if you have feedback or if you're taking advantage of this opportunity in a different way or if you've tested this already and you want to share your results of using the additional interest feature on TikTok, please leave it in the comment section I'd love to hear from you guys or if you have questions concerns feedback if you can give advice to other people in the comment section I love it when you guys you know have conversations and I try to jump in there as well you know giving my advice and answering your guys questions but that's pretty much it for this video just wanted to cover this subject and kind of show you guys how to actually access the additional interests how to take advantage of them and how I kind of see them moving forward with pros and cons and how I plan on taking advantage of them but that's it for this video this is Noah Burr and I'm out peace <laughs>